As diesel fuel burns, it produces heat. Heat generates energy needed to keep heavy-duty diesel engines working hard in all types of applications, both on and off-road. Although heat is needed to generate energy, too much heat can severely damage the engine. The cooling system plays a key role in keeping the engine components at optimum temperature to perform effectively and efficiently. In the beginning, the cooling system relied on plain water for heat transfer. This worked well until the winter months when temperatures dropped and the water froze. To prevent freezing, antifreeze was introduced into the system. Methanol was a popular antifreeze at the time. While effective in preventing the water from freezing, the mixture's low boiling point led to considerably less cooling than water alone. Also, the methanol tended to vaporize much quicker than the water in which it was mixed. In 1925, ethylene glycol was introduced to the market. Chosen for its high boiling point as well as its lower freeze point, ethylene glycol provided welcome advantages in both summer and winter weather. In 1937, production of ethylene glycol became widespread. Over the years, ethylene glycol has remained a main ingredient in antifreeze. However, in recent years, propylene glycol has become more popular. Propylene glycol has similar thermal characteristics of ethylene glycol, but is considerably less toxic. In the mid-1990s, organic acid technology was introduced. This type of antifreeze is formulated with organic acids, which protect the cooling system against rust and corrosion, allowing for extended service intervals. Along with antifreeze, coolant filters were added to protect the cooling system. The first coolant filter was a sock-type filter. This filter was a significant breakthrough, allowing impurities to be removed from the coolant fluid. Baldwin Filters introduced its first sock-type coolant filter with a universal chemical in the late 1960s. In the 1970s, the first spin-on coolant filter was created, making servicing the filter easier. Baldwin introduced its first spin-on coolant filter with chemicals in 1987. In the 1990s, extended drain interval coolant filters were introduced. Baldwin's controlled release coolant filter was introduced in 1999. You will learn more about the individual characteristics of coolant filters and additives in our filter types section.